Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and some more Elden Ring. Um, I am so, so excited to be back. Uh, I'm actually doing multiple recordings in one day, so I'm really, really excited. Um, but yeah, where we last left off, we just cleared out that um, minor Elden tree, um, got some new bubble tiers, and I actually found the entrance to a dungeon while trying to make it back. Uh, I wish I'd get it caught on camera because I was trying to be cheeky and wake my way down the, the mountainside, but I fell too far and died. But in the perspective from my corpse, as he breathed his last, I saw a door. And we're going to go check that out first. Um, well, after checking on to see if there's anything to those new um, bubble tiers. Oh, okay, so it's a hot and charged attacks. Oh, Opaline, that one's it's just like a single-use shield. It's pretty cool, but I think we're good with what we've got. So it's so the other thing I'm really excited about for this particular episode is um, I think in one of the catacombs here in the west or that may actually be the one we're headed into now um, there is a scythe a winged scythe, and it uh, uh, scales with faith. And I kind of like the idea of maybe power stancing um, scythes. Like, is it? Oh, okay. So it's actually not the entire dungeon. It's just it takes. Oh, there's one in there, so it should just be one. That's what I thought. What the hell was that? I think I see a pile of bones right here, too. Come yeah, on. Oh, but so anyway, what I was saying was, um, I spent a little time farming um, out in Lierney the lakes, and I was able to acquire a uh, grave site. Um, and from what I read, these actually, um, when you level them up, they're the best like, damage per second of the sides. And it does, it, it's got a very <clears throat> reaper look to it. <laughs> so I'm excited to give this a try um, and if I just like power stance it with the wing um, I can use the, the left one to, to buff and then I think the Ash of War on the winged scythe is just pretty epic it's, it's like I think they call it Wings of the Angel or something but yeah I, I think it could be fun I am going to try to make the best of it with uh, the current build which is more of a defensive build but I don't know, it just feels so slow and reactive to me. I just kind of prefer being a little more aggressive. I mean, I'm gonna give it a go for sure. But yeah, um, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, if if you think that's, I I, I kind of want to do a, a playthrough that's not been like completely overdone. So you know, not just like you know, power stancing two great swords, or you know, just like a pure mage, or you know, of course, there's the the Moonvale katana build. You know, going into the um, I forget what it's called, but the the bloody katana essentially.
I am not playing well. Still one archer here. Ooh, okay. Like maybe it's something that I'll learn better as I go through. Um, you know, you just you know when to block because I feel like all I'm doing is blocking and then like nothing happens and then I try to get aggressive and just the timing's all off for it. But yeah, we'll see. But it is something that I really want to give a try because yeah, I, I, I haven't seen too much in the way of uh, playthroughs where people try that. And... Oh, is that fire? Yeah. Jeez, okay. Not quite enough. I wonder if this would have any impact at all in case I do get... am I missing here? Hmm. Okay then. All that work for a little old flower? Okay. Sure, sure. Is this not the way I was supposed to go? Pretty sure. Hmm. Oh, 
headshot. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... That's not the way. Like, how am I going to get up from here? Gotta be missing something. That's it. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay. That's nice little ruins turned out to be a little more intense than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Ah, and our lever. Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to rest, but eh. I'm gonna give it a try. I mean, the first time, new boss, you just kind of learn the mechanics anyway. So. Cemetery Shade, oh. Like he stacks bleed. He takes a ton of damage, though. That was just one counter. Oh, I see. Ooh, there's blood loss. Okay. So you gotta be a little more aggressive than all that, I guess. Ah, uh, you weren't that bad. Go to the headless. Alright. I mean, I don't really use the summons at all, but like maybe it would be something worthwhile on this playthrough. I don't know, you guys let me know if that's something you'd like to see. I mean, the old school Souls player in me uh, feels like it would be cheating. Um, but then like, <laughs> I 100% abuse mounted combat, so.
Alright, rest up. Level. Hey, I got enough to level up. <clears throat> um, I have been pumping more into mines. Well, hmm. I'm going to throw one more into endurance because I like to keep my armor while using um, two sides, but they're both heavier than my spear and shield. So. I mean, like, until you get to uh, the Rhea Lucaria. Um, university or whatever it's called. Like This is just kind of your trial run to try whatever you want to do, and then you just end up respecking anyway. Okay. So we've hit here and here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of put a marker for the Evergold and see if I can't just head straight there. I think we rested up, right? Yep, we did. Okay. You saw me? Oh yeah, for sure. Hmm. Oh, already, this is going to be an action-packed episode. There's a boss right over there in the Evergold. I know as soon as I get close enough, he's going to jump down. See if I can get cheeky with a flame sling. Not quite. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, 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 no. He's going to be gone by the time I get back. Alright, I guess I'm going to have to come back for him. So cheeky. Alright. I guess we'll see what's in here. Well, there's blood. Ooh, hello. Okay, so it's... Yo, you got some good poise. By worn by pages who serve the nobility and are mindful to keep them out of harm's way. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, there it is. Okay, well, I mean, I guess I. Now that I'm here, I can um, see if I at least have the burden capacity to keep the armor that I'm wearing and uh, dual wield those. So I think it weighs how much more? One burden point more. Okay. And obviously, it doesn't do as much damage because it's not leveled up at all. And then. Hey, still medium load. <laughs> A 
Oh, that that's pretty awesome, not gonna lie. And I think what I like most about it is they actually build bleed. Let's give it a try. Back of wolves. Still pretty slow. Ash of War is choice. Okay. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I, I go with the dual side build for a while? I have to level them up. So uh, I'm going to do the Evergoal um, standard. Unless I just get absolutely wrecked doing it, <laughs> in which case I'll, I'll try anything. Uh, oh, it's actually locked. Was not expecting that. Let's see what we got. Oh, so he's got frost attacks. Entered his sword. And see. Well, that was... Hmm. I wonder if it wouldn't be worth it to... Uh, to use fire on him as well, since he's throwing so much frost at me. And, I mean, he likes to keep his distance, so, like... If that's the case, why don't I just roll and throw fire at him? Hmm. We'll see. I forgot to buff. That's okay. Not too much damage. I was fully charged.
actually one of the more challenging boss fights I've had. We got him. Yeah, you are no daisy. Hey, hey, okay. Now it's gonna be a bit of a toss up since I'm still so early on in the game and I have been kind of leaning on that uh, um, assassin's dagger, but this is just, I don't know, I think it's too much of an upgrade. Um, you take like 10 to 15% more damage, I think, but it also increases vigor, endurance, strength, and dexterity. So like, that's a huge up in um, uh, hit points, so yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. So I think there's gonna be a side of grace this way if I keep going. Church of Marika. Hey, yep. Gotta love being right. With that boss, it gave me 7,000, so... Actually, I'm going to go uh, level those two sides up, and I'm going to be right back. Okay. All right, thanks for bearing with me. Yeah, I uh, went ahead and just ran over to uh, the round table hold real quick and um, upgraded these as far as I could. Um, the... What is it called? <laughs> the wings? We get sight. Um, it uses somber stone, so I was only able to get it up to plus two, and then uh, I was able to get the grave sight up to plus four. Um, so we should be able to. Uh, it's it's still pretty comparable damage, um, although the uh, with most two-handed attacks you kind of lead with your L anyway. Oh, that's gonna be so awesome. Um, but anyway. Yeah, so as soon as I have the time, I'll, I'll farm some uh, somber stones. I'll have to look up where the number three is. Um, but I'm really excited to see how this goes. If, if it turns to be a total flop, then I can always just go back to the, the spear and the shield. Um, 
I just kind of figured I'd mix things up a little bit, make things a little more interesting. It's just sitting and waiting for those attacks. It's it's fine, but it's just... Uh, there's some headless knights here. Are they friendly? They don't appear to be. for these guys yeah um to be perfectly honest i haven't progressed far enough in the game um either way to know what exactly the purpose of those are i think for that one to get it to um settle down you've got to like knock the little fragments off stuff on it. Well, like, once you get it all knocked off, it'll, like, settle down. Remember duplication menu. You can duplicate remembrances you've previously acquired. This includes remembrances from which you've already drawn out power. Duplications can only be performed once per mausoleum. Oh. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't even know that was the thing. Well, cool. I, I hope... Do they just, like, stay down once you've knocked them down? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Okay, so I think we want to head out kind of this way. Sight of Grace. I guess we might as well top off. Yeah, I think this is where you get, um, there's been an age since I've seen a customer. Well, you're a little I'm remote. Help here at the end of the earth. Hey, yeah, lantern. Oh, he's got three of these. It's gonna be six thousand, maybe four thousand more. Have a safe journey. Uh, let's see. I think I should have enough. Oh yeah. 200 a piece. Have a 
safe journey. Okay. But yeah, so now when you go into any dungeon, you can just go. And you still got both your hands. Or double the carnage. Okay, so I think I'm going to wrap things up here shortly. I'm going to finish out this little southern region. I think there might be a fort or something. Hopefully something interesting. Um, and if not, I'll just try to find a boss to pick a fight with real quick. But yeah, I'm having so much fun. Um, thanks for bearing with me in this process. Oh, I just remembered. Yeah, I think this tower up here is what we're looking for. Nice. You didn't see that. Not gonna lie, that's pretty awesome. I don't want to see what those guys are all huddled around over there. I also kind of want to pick a fight with these uh, two soldiers in the night to see if... to really try these uh, sides out. So apparently there's a ballista up top that I needed to take care of. So I'm going to do that really quick. And I also got to remember that I no longer... Oh, is he going to abandon his horse to come chase me? Hello. So I'm like 85% sure that this chest is a trap. So I'm going to head down, see if I can't clear those mobs first. Those angel wings are overpowered. That's awesome. It's like a super short buff. Um, but it makes such a huge impact on damage. Um, it's a shame that it just buffs the one weapon. 
But I really feel like you could just go ham, like, on a boss. So, like, you, you get him knocked down, you get your critical hit off. I don't know. I'll have to work that out. I better top off. Oh, it's a fog trap. Seriously, lane down? Oh, my gear doesn't work. I can't mount, and... Oh yeah, that's death for sure. Is there a way to get down? Uh, nope. Oh my, is that a dragon? Dude. I don't think there's any way to get down though. Well, I mean, not in a survivable way. Maybe that one. Oh no, that's that's too far. Right. If I remember right, there's kind of a big boy over here. Yep. I might as well rest. It's not like I fought anybody here. All right, all right, all right. It's at the wrong side. so much damage. Right here, right here. There we go. It's alright. I think we got this. down again.
All right, so I feel like there's still a lot to learn in a power stance with this, and they still swing super slow, but that was really good damage against, like, that monster. Oh, I wonder if I could... No, that's still dead. There's treasure chests there. Hey, blessed do. Um, I think that one's a regen charm. Yeah, slowly. Yeah, I think from here there's really nothing else to do. Damn. Like right at the entrance of the major Erd tree, though. That's incredible. All right, I'm going to fight off the urge to just gush about this game again and uh, wrap things up. Get a quick rest in. Um, I think... Whoa, all the way up north, yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much all there really is to the western side of things. Um, so I'm just going to hop back over to the merchant shack. Real quick cursory sweep, make sure I didn't miss anything in that tower. Yeah, nothing really doing. It was worth a look, though. Oh, I remember you. Fortification, hey, yeah, that was worth it. Okay. Um, all right, um, before I go off on another tangent and decide, hey, I'm just going to do the whole eastern side time, uh, I think we're going to call it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for enjoying this content with me, for uh, just kind of sitting down and, and just enjoying this game. It's so much fun to play, and I really hope uh, it's it's entertaining to watch. Um, let me know what you think about the dual scythe build. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't get um, the uh, angel's wings up a little bit um, so we can get comparable damage. But I, I feel like um, it's still got good range. It's got good sweeping attacks. And um, with the dual attack um, building bleed, I, I feel like it's it's got some real potential. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, if you guys enjoy the content, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Like I said, it really, really incentivizes me to just keep churning out content. And um, I just, I can't thank you guys enough. And uh, have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.